sure. Ten, right? It's got to be ten. All right, so positive, I put a ten in there. Do I get a positive or negative out of that binomial? Positive, right? A hundred minus three, you're positive. So positive times a positive is positive. So this one says that it, so if I'm looking at the original um, and I'm talking first derivative and for this first interval, are we increasing or decreasing? Increasing, and then in this interval, we are decreasing, decreasing, and it's increasing. And I don't know if they're going to have you do negative square root of 3 comma 0 with you. And again, this is brackets on that one. And then and 0 to square root of 3. Or if they're going to do this, they might do this. And I don't know if they'll accept one answer or both answers. Both of them are correct. Okay. They might also, I don't know if somebody did it. I know I've worked in this one. I think it had to bring up parentheses there. That would be the only thing to find. Okay. I, I don't know how it's going to be. So that number. 
numbers who I have, if I know something different, just put your number in there. So you do calculation with your number. Okay. All right. So um, I it says that I need to find increasing and decreasing. So what do I need to do? Derivative. Okay. Unfortunately, I have a one in there. I've got a chain rule. There's good news though. U is x plus 2 once you prime. 1. Do I really need to worry about the chain rule? Not really, because it's going to be 1 times the derivative of the outside. So the derivative of the outside is going to take that 2 and bring it in front. Which is negative, negative 1 times 2. Negative 2. And then we're going to subtract the 1 off the exponent. So I get a 1 and I put the mess back on the inside. All right, I'm going to set that equal to what? Zero. Zero to get critical points. So it's a little crazy. I'll put it up. X plus two equals zero. I guess I could have distributed. So either I distribute or I'm going to divide. So zero divided by negative two is zero and x equals negative two. That's my one and only critical number. All right, so we're going to look at my interval. What's my interval start at? Negative infinity, and it goes, what's my first critical number? And then negative 2 to infinity. I need a number, a number between negative infinity and negative 2. Negative 3, negative 10 will work. Um, I need a number between negative 2 and infinity. Zero. Okay, and then my most simplified derivative, which I should box, is this one here. Um, I put the negative 3 in. That gives me a negative times a negative 3 and negative 2 is a number. Sorry, negative 3 and positive 2 is a negative in there. So negative times a negative is going to be positive. When I put in a 0 in this center thing here, what do I get? Positive or negative? Positive. So negative times a positive is negative. All right, so we we got to just talk increasing, decreasing. So what is the line of positive there? Do I know about my interval? And then my, when I have a negative, what do I know about the increasing? And this one it wants open intervals, so when you put that in, put parentheses. Okay. It says open in the instruction. I will probably take both the open and the, I, I'm not going to worry so much about the interviews on the actual test. I must not have that test, at least if I worry that you understand it. That's the question. All right, anything else on week one? Okay, uh, let's look at week two. So homework six through ten. What questions do we have on homework six through ten? Nothing on 6 to 10. This is homework 10. And we're going to look at problem number 2. It is... Oh, I've done this one before. You can request grant an extension. Oh, I see. You did it. I did. I have a video on that one. Is that right? That one or that? 5x minus half a log 5x. 5x minus half a log 5x. Something like that. Okay. What number did you want? Oh, I'm sorry. I did not do the video. I have.
this if it were from the